Hello YouTube! I'm Mandy and this is Mandy's Makeup Adventures and in today's adventure I am really sick. So I've been sick now for like, I don't know, forever? That's what it seems like. For absolute ever. But I'm trying really hard to get around that. Now I'm busy for the next several days. Um, I did a little Black Friday shopping, just a little bit, um, and you guys will see some of that in videos. <laughs> I don't know. I keep feeling like, okay, maybe I'm a little bit better, and then I get way worse, and I'm like, how is this possible? So I put on makeup this morning because I was like, you know what? I have to do something, and then the only thing I ended up doing was shopping. <laughs> well, that's not true. I did a little housework too yesterday and today, but anyway. Anyway, this video is my Sephora haul, okay? So, I'm so excited about the entire haul. Should I start with big stuff or small stuff? So, this is from the VIB sale, and um, it, was, it was kind of wonderful, especially what popped up just recently, but that's more of a Black Friday thing. Sephora is killing it. Okay, let's start with some smaller items. Then we'll get to the bigger packaged ones. Okay, so first up, I had to try one of these Norvina um, um, waterline gel liner things, and I got it in this baby pink color because the one that I reach for the most in my whole ColourPop uh, cream liner family, um, the one I reach for most is a peachy tone like this. And I love it. It goes with just an absolute lot of things and it brightens up right there underneath my eye. Love this so far. It's very creamy. I have swatched it um, several times and um, I just rubbed it like crazy and it seems like it's not coming off. So that's fantastic. Got to see how it performs in the waterline and then we'll know, right? So excited about that. Okay. It's full. I have to put it over here. I have so much um, junk all over the place. Ugh, so much to do. Okay, so next up, I got a replacement of my brow chow. Um, the best thing that you can do during these sales is stock up on stuff that you know you're going to use anyway. Um, and that's what I do. Uh, with any place, but I got this pencil in medium brown. It's got the angled um, tip like this, and that's what I did my brows with today, I believe. Nope, never mind. I did these with Juvia's Place, which I, I like the Juvia's Place formula uh, somewhat, but I like Addison's formula better. So I really love that. And then it's got this little brush on it and the brush is very interesting because it basically takes away the waxy part of the color that you put on. It just takes away the waxiness and smooths it all together. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, so yeah, I got a replacement of that. Um, I'm not out of the original one yet. I still have some to go in this. But like I said, you just want to back up your like best items. And that is definitely one of my best. Okay, we're moving right along. 
Okay, so this is from Sephora, but this was for my last haul. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I never opened it up and I never used it and I let it sit here. I don't know what that's about because it's Christmas time and it's time for a shade just like this. So this is the Rule Breaker from KVD. I swatched it before. It's a true red. Christmas red is what it looks like to be extremely red. So I'm so excited to use that. So I'm going to put it on my desk with my favorite, uh, my favorite stuff. <laughs> and speaking of red lipstick, I got, oh, I didn't even tell you guys the price of the Norvita ones are 20 bucks to start and it was 15% off that because I'm a, a VIB. I didn't hit uh, Rouge this year. I was Rouge last year, but this year I'm still at VIB and it was 15% off of 20 bucks for this guy. It was 15% off of 15 for this guy. And this is the Pat McGrath. Um, this is the Mini Red Fantasy Lip Trio. Um, and this one was $25 with 15% off. Okay, so the little sequins on the bottom, I try to use for like crafts and stuff. So I don't know what I'll use all these red sequins for, but I'll find something. Don't worry. Would you guys be interested in watching me uh, make crafts and... Uh, paint things because <laughs> I love to do that. That's I'm, I'm an artist first and then a makeup artist. So let me know. <laughs> okay. So this is my first time opening this. This is a cute little mini lipstick you get. And let's see. Oh, and it's gorgeous. Oh my God. That is fantastic. And it looks so pretty. It's another true red. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I love the little um, the little lips. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. And then they give you this pearly gloss. So that's interesting. And it looks kind of white with a pink shift to it. It's pretty. And then... This one is called Bloodlust. It's a crayon and it, it's called Bloodlust. Oh my gosh, and it's like a perfect match. That is gorgeous. That's so exciting because we're going to be using these in a look. So basically, I'm going to be using all of the things that I bought today. Well, that I bought when the sale is going on and I now have <laughs> all of these things. Okay. And I showed you the, um, KVD kiss as well. I think we're going to use the Pat McGrath for this one, but you know, it's a close second. Speaking of opening unopened things, this was sitting in my eyeliners and it's a brand new, uh, white, eyeliner and I love white eyeliners they do such a good job on many things and that gives me an idea of what to do <laughs> lighter okay so the next one is in a little box and it's super cute and then we get to the big box which is awesome this is from Bite Beauty, and this is a miniature um, liner and lash. So, line and lash. So, right now, we have an eyeliner. No, we have two different kinds of eyeliners, a mascara, a brow product, lip products. So, we have almost what we need for a full face of makeup. And these two look like this. This is from Bite. 
so that's the mascara. And it's got a brush tip applicator. That's awesome. I don't usually use those, but I will. And this one's kind of hard to get open. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. It's thick. It's nice and thick. Wow, that is a huge brush. So we'll see what we think of Bite uh, Liner and Lashes. That was $10 with 15% off. The Pat McGrath, I don't know if I said that, the Pat McGrath set was um, 25 with... 15% off. Okay, and then the last thing. Oh my goodness. I just feel terrible. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got a big box. I picked up the Sephora Favorites box, uh, Beauty Must Haves. This was $54 and it had 15% off. Now, I'm going to show you all the cool things that you get for $54. Pretty sure that this is still available even without the 15% discount, this is worth it. This has lots of really good stuff in it. So let's talk about that. I love this box. It has such a luxurious feeling to it. I was going to I was going to get one for you guys, but I already have the 12 days of giveaways done, so this is a great gift um, for anybody who even likes makeup just a little bit. This is a fantastic kit. So we have a full-size beauty blender. Um, this was the original beauty blender, a $20 value. I can't believe they cost $20. But, you know, some of my sponges that I have, this is, um, who was this that I got this from? I can't remember which company I got. Oh, Lurella. Lurella Cosmetics. So it's an indie brand and it was like six or seven bucks. I find that they last for a couple weeks and that's all. I think the beauty blenders sometimes last longer. I wash them in their little cage thing. I can't find the other half of the cage right now. So I had to wash them by hand and that sucked. Anyway, <laughs> The Beauty Blender in this regular size um, is worth 20 bucks. So then we have, this is from Grand Lash MD. This is the Lash Serum that's supposed to help your lashes grow. A full size one is $50. The half size, I'm guessing, is 25 So that's 25 plus 20 so you're already very close to the whole value of the box, which was $54. Not the value, the price. You're close to the price. So we're going to move this way and go to the brow product. This is from Benefit. This is the 24-hour brow setter. I believe this product is like $18 when it's in its full size. So half would be $6. Up here from NARS, we have, this is a bronzer. Let's see if I can get it out of here to open it up. This is a bronzer. And you get quite a bit of product. It's 0 0.08 ounces or 2.5 grams. This is in Laguna. I have never tried that one, so I'm really excited. Um, and I love that tiny little detail. It's so cool. So um, NARS bronzers 
would go for like 40 bucks. This is a mini Natasha Denona. And I'm super excited. This is the Micro Biba palette. So it's just got these two brown mattes and this shimmer. But the formula is Amaze Balls. I barely have to touch it, and I've got the swatch. And I love this. I love this. For traveling see look at that and I didn't have any doubt that it would be that easy because as I'm learning from using more and more of Natasha Denona's products that she knows what she's doing <laughs> they they know what they're doing for sure um, they make an awesome awesome eyeshadow palette so this is in the mini size pan, and for five of the mini size pans, it's $25. So we're going to take off 10, and this value would be $15 for the three eyeshadows. Not bad. So I'm still adding all kinds of value. Next up is from Kosas, and it is... Get this off so I don't get it all over the place. Um, next up, this is from Kosas right here. And it Kosas Wet is what it is. And it says it's in the color Dip. And it's gorgeous and it goes really well with um, the eyeshadow palette it's a lip oil looks like yep lip oil and that's amaze balls we love lip oils we really do I like to wear something uh, glossy on my lips because they feel dry as I'll get out if I don't so I, I, as I sit here, I become more and more congested. <laughs> Just like, what the hell? Okay, also, see, we're not even done yet because this one is from Fenty Beauty. This is a full size of the Fenty Beauty uh, mascara. Now, I cannot remember what the wand is like on this, but I don't want to open it because I just opened that bite one, and we're probably going to use that for this video um, and I have a bunch more products lash products uh, to show you now this is really hard to get out of the container so that sucks um, this is from oi way I think it's called way and it's a leave-in conditioner, a revitalizing treatment, 0.84 ounces. So this is to try out a um, leave-in conditioner. And my daughter will love that. Um, this is the Milk Hydro Primer. And I'm so excited to try this because I've heard such good things um, about the Hydro Grip. So then we have from Dr. Jart for our last object. Really, object? That's the word I came up with? Really? <laughs> and I can't get it out. My nails are a problem. So this is the Sisapair Psychopair Derma Green Solution. From what I looked up online, it is supposed to cancel out redness on your face, but like in a treatment kind of way. So that's interesting. I will probably use that. So the only thing that I know I won't use is the leave-in conditioner because I do not use conditioner unless it is uh, a color-saving conditioner, if that makes any sense. It probably does not, but I am
thick, and so I don't have to. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so I'm super excited about all these. I'm going to try these products on, um, and we're going to keep filming. I'll see you soon. I'm back, and the everything is filled. <laughs> Well, not really, because I don't have fillers, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so, um, where do we start? These are all of the things that I could put on my face from the collection where I put the box. <laughs> Everything that I could from my haul, which is this and... I got the um, brow chow, and I got the little bite beauty set, and the Pat Pat McGrath set. So let's talk about all the products. Chaos is here to um, formally uh, announce her objection to this video. Because if I am making a video, I can't be petting the cat, you know. By the way, how much bluer do my eyes look with this gold look? I'm just asking. This is the kind of makeup that I used to do all the time before getting a channel, really. I did um, neutrals, golds, and pinks all the time. So, anyway... Let's talk about this little set. So, I did use the, oh, where is it? I did use the lash serum, but it's just the first day of using the lash serum. However, um, either that or the mascara did seem to do something with my lashes because they seemed a little healthier when I was combing in the mascara. So, we'll see. So this is going to be an overtime kind of thing along with any skincare products. So this Hydra Grip primer is actually kind of cool. I like the way that it's like tacky but not sticky. It felt good and moisturizing to the skin. Um I like I like it. So long and short end of that story. I, I like it. Um, and we'll see how it does going forward. Now, this next thing is totally cool. I had no idea that I needed this product, but apparently I do. So I put this on my face. Let me show you the consistency of this. And by the way, I'm going to tell you one more time. This box is only $54, and I think it has a lot of great stuff in it. So if you're a beginner, or if you know somebody who is beginning a makeup journey, this is a fantastic set. It's also a fantastic set if you um, like a value, because it's a value, for sure. This is the Sisapair, or the... Yeah, the Sisapair Derma Green Solution. And it has almost a gritty kind of texture to it. But when you put it on the skin, it balances out redness. And so I have um, like red splotching on my face. And uh, this evened that out. So what I did is I put the Hydra Grip Primer first after moisturizing and then this product next. I think a full size of this is a lot. Let's see. Let's look at the Dr. Jart. Okay. So, its active ingredient is zinc oxide and titanium di dioxide. And that says it's a sunscreen. Its purpose is a sunscreen. Uses helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures, decreases the risk of early skin cancer. 
It says it's a color correcting treatment. Neutralizes redness and protects skin. Improves skin's appearance to be vibrant. But it's also a sunscreen. This is a weird little product, okay? I didn't realize that it doubled as a sunscreen. You're weird, okay? You're weird, all right? Because that's a little strange, is it not? It did help to correct the coloring, so it does do what it says, I feel like. I don't know. Check back with me when I finish the thing up, you know? You never know. So, um... <clears throat> Those were good. I did not break into a new beauty blender because I had just washed two and they were already wet and ready for me to use. So that's what she said. So there we go with that. Now I also used the Natasha Denona little three-piece mini, and this is the Micro Biba palette. It is the colors Monroe, L, and Coco. I'm guessing this is Monroe for Marilyn, and I gotta say, it's, um, it's a gorgeous, medium, bright gold, and it really brings out the blue in my eyes um, a lot, and I like it. I think it's a great formula. This is old-fashioned way to, to do makeup. I am not using, like, anything new here, um, but I think it looks amazeballs, and it looks... Um, it really does brighten my eyes, so I do like it. And the formula was good. The only thing I would say about the formula is this little brown right here, Coco. Uh, she was she was a little patchy. She was a little hard to like get the um, color payoff. So on this side, it became very dark very quickly, and I had a very hard time darkening up this side with this. So I don't know what that's about, but other than that, it's a solid little palette. Now, I don't know what they sell this for. I don't know if they sold it outside of this box. I haven't seen any information that it's on sale anywhere, so I think you can only get this in this box, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but I still feel like the box is a great value, so you should totally get one. Um, I also used this NARS um, bronzer, as you can totally tell that I've used a bronzer, um, in the shade Laguna. I love that this is so tiny, and it has a little tiny, tiny little mirror. It is a magnified mirror, and I really like it. I'm looking at my eyeball right now. <laughs> It's super cute and super small. Maybe we'll do some like um, miniature size makeup stuff. So this was lovely and um, I had no problems applying it. NARS is a fantastic brand. Um, also out of this set, I used the 24-hour uh, brow setter. I feel like it did a great job. I just combed up a little bit with that, and it seems to have done the trick. Um, I used my brow chow, um, and it is flawless, and it does a really good job really quickly. <laughs> I used on the eyes this Bite Beauty eyeliner. This is the black eyeliner that made... A gorgeous little wig and I really like it so this might become a new favorite I know it's gonna be um, it's gonna be out and ready for me to use every day <laughs> same thing with this little mascara what a good little mascara you are bite beauty what are you called this is called upswing the uh, color apparently is called upswing 
Okay, so then let's see what else we have in here. That is pretty much it, except for the lip oil, which I was testing out the Pat McGrath, so I didn't put on the lip oil yet. And my daughter will have to let us know uh, about this whey leave-in conditioner. I will have her report back to us. I think this set is totally worth it. Y'all should get one, I'm just saying. Um, up next, we have that cute little Pat McGrath um, trio, the, the tiny minis trio, <laughs> the little minis. Now you saw this when it was new, <laughs> it was white <laughs> and now it is definitely pink because you have to mix with the red. And I didn't think about that, right? It, until I put it on and I was like, oh, well, there's no going back now <laughs> because once you put the red in there, it, it really doesn't go back, but how gorgeous is it? So it's a red lipstick, but with this on the top, it gives it that, um, iridescent -y, uh, highlighted look. It's super cute. So I like this little trio as well. So I think, oh no, no, no. We forgot to talk about one product, which is actually the one that I'm on the fence about. This one is Norvia, Norvina. It's the Chroma Sticks and this is in pastel pink. So it looks great right now. Um, earlier my eyes were a little watery and that seemed to break up the pigment of the, uh, liner, which <clears throat> I realized that's going to happen. You know, I'm going to take a drink of water because I am just not well. <laughs> Uh, gotta get better. We have so much to do. <laughs> so much to do. So the Norvina, it's really nice um, at first, but then I feel like if um, my eyes water or something like that, which they do a lot, um, it might break up again. So I'm going to have to continue using this to see how it does. All right, guys, I am all done with this video. I'm done with today. I don't feel good. I need to go get in the bed and put the covers up over my head. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If, if you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you need to subscribe to this channel because I am about to unleash the giveaways. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow as promised. Bye guys.